In this video, I'd just like to talk to you a few strategies that you can do to support your child's ability to develop their historical knowledge and understanding. The first strategy that you can use is to go to the BBC Bite Size online resources. These are available for key stages four and three and offer a fantastic range of resources um, covering a wide range of historical topics and these will really help um, to embed and to develop the knowledge and the topics that students are studying currently and other topics that might well interest them. Particularly for students who are studying history at GCSE another great resource is revision guides. Now we are currently in the process of providing students with uh, the content revision guides, but the exam boards also do require model answer or offer model answer workbooks that can be a real help to make sure students understand exactly how to develop their historical answers to achieve the highest possible grades. The, the revision guides are great for helping to develop the key subject knowledge that students need to be able to, be able to do well in their exams. Perhaps another thing to do to really help develop students' historical knowledge is to encourage them to read historical books. For Key Stage 3, a great set of resources are those produced by the Horrible History series. They provide a great insight into lots of historical topics, um, great knowledge, um, and hopefully the students will really enjoy it. As students get older, they can often start to challenge themselves more and really should start to be looking to expose themselves to more academic works on some of the topics they've been talking about. There are a wide variety of books available in many topics. And one of the key topics the students study um, if they go on to study history at A-level is about the rise of Hitler. And there are numerous books um, that the students can start to tackle in preparation for that to really develop their historical uh, language and literacy skills. Another great way um, is at all key stages, but particularly key stage four, what parents can do is they can test. Um, it's vital for good history that students do have outstanding subject knowledge. Um, to help support this at key stage four, we provide students with a homework revision booklet. In this booklet, um, students are encouraged to carry out revision tasks, and we also have in there a series of knowledge questions. It'd be a great if parents could support their students by asking to see these revision booklets and to test the students on the knowledge what's in them. And if they can answer these questions correctly, you should be pretty confident the students will be able to write high quality answers on the topics that they are studying. The last thing that we suggest that parents can do to really help develop students' historical ability is encourage them to question. A key part of being a good historian is being able to look at what we call primary sources or sources from the time and really start to question the usefulness of that source to historian by asking questions like who wrote it, what type of source it is, when it was written, where it was written, and then crucially why it was written. And by using those questioning skills then to work out, is that knowledge to be trusted? Is that a source that the students should be using to develop their their knowledge of a particular time period or are there some real issues with that source that means actually there might well be um, untruths in that that students must be aware of. So those are just quick five quick strategies that we suggest that parents can use to really help develop the students subject knowledge and expertise in history.